Hello students, uh, myself Mool Kodia from IT Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we discussed parametric representation of circle and also solve one numerical based on that. So in today's session we have to discuss main two topic. First one that is parametric representation of ellipse and second one that is parametric representation of parabola. So, what is the equation of ellipse? That is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1, where a and b indicate major axis and minor axis. Okay, so we have to use this fundamental over here. So, first we have to derive equation for the ellipse. So, mathematically, the ellipse is a curve generated by a point moving in space such that any position, the sum of its distance. From two fixed point is constant and equal to the major diameter. Okay. Second thing, each focus is located on the major axis of the ellipse at a distance from its center equal to A and B are the major and minor radius. Okay. Major and minor radius. Circular hall and form become ellipse when they are viewed obliquely relative to their planes. Okay. So now first we have to understand this diagram and we derive equation from this diagram. So we have one ellipse. Now center point of ellipse we have to consider as a xc, yc, zc. Clear? So if we have some uh, center point at that time, the equation of ellipse like this x minus xc square upon a square plus y minus yc square upon a square plus z minus z c whole square upon c square is equal to 1. Okay, so you, we have to use this equation over here and we have to select randomly we have to select one point p on ellipse like x comma y comma z and that point make one angle with x axis that is u and we have to give some increment continuously increment in angle and we have to find coordinate or value of coordinate on the ellipse. Okay, so we have first we have to select one point p of p of x comma y comma z. After that we have to consider one point p n and incremental of p n that is p of n plus one. So we have to use this. We have to derive this theory same way uh, uh, we derive already derived the parametric representation of circle. So we have to use same fundamental for the ellipse. Okay. So here at p of x comma y comma z at that time horizontal axis indicate major axis, vertical indicate minor axis. At that time the horizontal distance x indicate a cos u. When uh, we discuss about circle at that time we use r cos u and r sin u because value of radius to is constant throughout the circle. But in ellipse, the value of radius is not same throughout the ellipse. Clear? Whenever we discuss about x axis, at that time we have to consider as a radius capital A, major axis. Whenever we discuss about y axis, at that time we have to consider capital B as a minor radius. Okay. That's why the equation of x as a A cos u and equation of y that is B sin u. Okay. So, based on this fundamental, we have to derive the equation of the ellipse. Here is the diagram. Now, ellipse defined by a center, major and minor axis. If you want to draw ellipse at that time, minimum data, three data, minimum three data required. Center point coordinates, value of major axis and value of minor axis. Okay. So, if a line parallel to the minor axis is drawn from P1, and a line parallel to the major axis is drawn from P2. The intersection of these two lines define the point P. Okay, we have to draw one parallel line with y, uh, major axis and one parallel line with minor axis, and we get one intersection point and that intersection point coordinate that is x comma y comma z. So what is the value of x? X is equal to a cos u. We already know that, but the uh, uh, or, uh, means center point of ellipse is not on the origin. That's why we have to add center point coordinate on this equation. That's why equation of x, that is xc plus a cos u, 
equation of y that is y c plus b sin u and z is equal to z c. Again, ellipse is also two dimensional entity. That's why the z coordinate remain constant. The value of u that is zero less than or equal to u less than or equal to two pi. Okay. Now, similarly, develop as in the case of circle. We have to directly derive equation uh, as the using fundamental of circle. That's why uh, I write down here like similarly development as in the case of circle result in the following recursive relationship which are useful for generating point on the ellipse for display purpose without extensive evaluation or trigonometric functions. Directly I write down that equation over here like x of n plus 1 Clear? Yeah, we, uh, we have to use same method uh, as we use in the circle. Okay, so what is the equation of x coordinate? That is x of n plus 1 is equal to xc plus xn minus xc cos delta u minus a upon b yn minus yc is equal to sin delta u. Okay, and what is the equation of y of n plus 1? y of n plus 1 is equal to yc plus yn minus yc cos delta u plus a upon b xn minus x is sin delta u and zn plus 1 is equal to z. Clear? In this uh, derivation, we skip two steps. Clear? First step that is our uh, derivation of xn, yn, and zn. And based on xn, yn, and zn, we have to derive equation of xn plus 1, yn plus 1, and zn plus 1. But in this case, we directly uh, calculate or evaluate the equation of xn plus yn plus 1 and zn plus 1. Clear? Because we already derived same type of theory in parametric representation of circle. That's why we skip the, uh, that step over here. Okay. Now next, if the ellipse major axis is inclined with angle alpha relative to the x axis as shown in figure, the ellipse equation become if we consider or if we give increment at alpha means already uh, point P make one angle with the x-axis that is small u. Now we have to give some increment in angle at that time P point move at some another position. That's why we have to calculate coordinate of that point. Clear? So x is equal to xc plus a cos u into cos alpha minus b sin u into sin alpha. Same way y is equal to yc plus a cos u into sin alpha plus b sin u into cos alpha where 0 less than or equal to u less than or equal to 2 pi and z is equal to zc. Above equation cannot be reduced to a recursive relationship similar to what is given by equation. Instead this equation can be written as xn plus 1 is equal to xc plus cos u plus delta u into cos alpha minus b sin of u plus delta u sin alpha and yn plus 1 is equal to yc plus a cos u plus delta u into sin alpha plus b sin of u plus delta u into uh, cos alpha. Okay, and zn plus 1 is equal to this. So, in ellipse, derivation of ellipse, we have to use all fundamental of derivation of circle. Okay. So, that is the parametric equation of ellipse. Now, we have to derive equation for the parametric representation of parabola. Now, you already know that what is the equation of parabola? That is y square is equal to 4ax. Okay, so in equation of parabola, we have like, you already know that the distance of horizontal that is 2 AU and vertical distance that is AU square. That is the parametric equation already available for the parabola. Clear? So we have to use this fundamental and derive. And uh, you already know that in parabola is a axis symmetric curve, means in the center, both sides of center line, the shape of the curve remains same or remain constant. So, assuming the local coordinate system of the parabola is shown in figure, its parametric equation can be written as x is equal to xc plus au square, y is equal to yc plus 2au and z is equal to zc where 0 less than u less than infinity. Now, the equation of au square and 2au, you already learned this equation in mathematics in 12th century. So, I use that equation directly over here. So, if the range of y coordinate is limited to yhw and yuw for positive and negative value respectively, the corresponding u value become 
u is equal to y upon 2a and u l is equal to y and w upon 2. Okay, this is for the positive and negative value. The recursive relationship to generate points on the parabola and obtained by substituting the value u plus delta u for point n plus 1. If we have to find out any of the point for the next position of point p like n plus 1 at that time we have to give increment in angle at delta u. Means instead of u we have to use u plus delta u. Okay. So equation converted in the form of xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus yn minus yc into delta u plus a into delta u square. And yn plus 1 is equal to oh, yn plus 2a delta u and zn plus 1 is equal to z. So this is the parametric representation of parabola. So in today's session we have to discuss main two topics, parametric representation of ellipse and parametric representation of parabola. So all this theory is most important thing. So total we derive total four parametric equations. First parametric equation of the line, parametric equation of circle, parametric equation of ellipse and parametric equation of parabola. Okay. So, in next session, we have to uh, discuss a new topic of this chapter like uh, synthetic curves or analytical curves. In next session, we have to discuss Bezier curves. Okay.